Welcome back to Pool School. I'm Marcus Sheridan, and I'm going to real quickly show you how to clean your cartridge filter. As we always recommend with a fiberglass pool and a saltwater system, cartridge filters, they tend to work the best, and they're the easiest to, to clean, and they do a great job with your pool. The first thing to always remember is when you are doing anything with your filter system, you want to turn off your pump. Okay? You don't want water flying around when you try to open stuff up. With our pools, at River Pools, we always have a timer on the pool. Some, some of you might have a disconnect, but you always want to make sure you quit the power, you turn the pump off. Okay, so that's the first thing that you do. The second thing you do is on any type of cartridge filter, because they're pressurized, you can see that from the pressure gauge, you want to release the uh, pressure from the air release valve. Okay? And you can hear the air coming out of that. You don't have to do it very long. You just want to uh, have enough so that the air is pushing out. Now this is a stay right cartridge filter. We like it a lot because it's an ideal size for really any of the fiberglass pools we offer and it's very very easy to take off. Some of the systems are difficult to take off because they have clamps and things like that. This is all done by hand and it's not very difficult. So what you do is on the back you have a little button that you just push in the back okay, which helps release the clamp. Okay, So you take and you turn your belt that goes around and you'll start to see that it spins. Okay, once it spins, you can take it right off. Okay, there is your filter. Now this is a relatively new pool, and that's why the cartridge looks pretty white right now. But our next step is to go to the hose, and we're going to spray it off. So now we need to clean off the cartridge. It's always better to have a hose with a nozzle to, to really pressurize it, but we'll do it this way because. I want you to see it's, you can even do it without the nozzle. It's a simple process. You just essentially start from the top of the cartridge and work your way down. You'll see at the bottom you have the dirt come out. You rotate it. You go down. Rotate it and go down. So you do this and you go all the way around cartridge. So I like to do it one time pretty well. And this one's pretty clean. Alright, it's pretty clean already so it doesn't need much. Usually you're going to spray it off once every four to six weeks. Alright, and these cartridges last about one to two seasons in most cases. The main thing is you always want to clean it like this well at the end of the season. But once it's done, like that, ready to put it back in the pool. That's what I'm going to show you next. So now we're ready to put our cartridge back into the pool's cartridge canister here. Okay. You notice you got a center tube there. Of course you want the cartridge to go around that. You'll see that there's a, a, a spherical area at the bottom of the canister that enables you to lock it in place. All right. So once she is in place and you feel that it's steady, take your top again and make sure you got no debris. It takes a second to get it lined up. You've got to jiggle it around. You'll feel it kind of lock in place. You turn it a few times. You want to do this to where you can see the cartridge um, pressure gauge. Once you do that, you turn just the belt, okay? This is in place. Now you turn just the belt, and you'll hear the belt click. All right, now it's locked in place. That's all you do. But you want to make sure it locks in place, because if it doesn't, and you turn it on, it might get wet. And one other thing, don't forget to tighten up your air release valve on top. And we're off and running.